Hi. Thanks for joining us on Villages 365. I'm Debbie. I'm Jan. And today we're going to be doing Jan's 10 likes about the Villages. That's right. And it, I had to whittle it down because there's so much to like about the Villages. And my first like is the concept. The concept of the Villages is pretty stellar. Um, Mr. Schwartz came down here in the middle of a orange grove and made a wonderful uh, retirement community. And it's just, I, you can't describe it until you come here. I mean, some of our yeah. friends just are amazed. It's it, not Del Webb. Everybody's like, oh, is it like Del Webb? No. It's like Del Webb on steroids. It yes. is a whole city. Yeah, it's, yeah, within itself. Mm -hmm. You can get pretty much anywhere by cart. And it, it just, it's just fun. And so- In three counties right now. Right. The village probably is, encompasses three counties. Number four counties come somewhere. It probably is. Anyway, the concept of the villages is amazing. And with my other likes, you'll see why. My second one is travel by cart. So you buy a cute little cart and you deck it out. And there's cart trails all over. And then there, I don't know how many miles of cart trails there. I mean, it changes all yeah. the time because they're always building. But I can go to the store in my cart. I can go to the hospital in my cart and your doctor, I mean, you just, you kind of leave your car in the garage and basically drive your car everywhere. Which with gas prices where they are, is another Pretty stellar, positive. yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have an electric cart and a gas cart, and so now I think the electric cart will be driven a little bit more. So anyway, then the, my third like, because we're active in our church, is there's a lot of great churches here. We, I think, have three mega churches and um, if you like to worship and you've attended church where you came from, mm -hmm. there's a any choice that you want. Yeah. And they're very welcoming people and that's, you know, that was important to us. So that's one of my likes. And they're very involved in the community. When you look at our local paper, it tells, you know, this church is doing, a yeah. these people are always down here. The yeah, outreach, people are yeah. giving time and money. Yeah. They're donating. Food pantries and everything, uh, yeah, and bargains of blessings where you donate food, furniture, or not food, uh, clothing, furniture, and then they sell it at a discount. And what they make off of that, then they put back into the community. Mm -hmm. Community, especially with Wildwood, um, is where it's located. So the, the Wildwood community and the kids and um, backpacks, and I could go on forever. Yeah, but, there's tons of mentors that come out of the yeah, churches and stuff. Yeah. They help the kids with reading, learning, whatever they need. Yep. It's it, That is amazing. And just a grandfather figure or yep. grandmother figure, yep. um, since we're kind of all that. Yep. And that, that works. That's, that's pretty cool. Another thing is the landscaping and the views. The, the landscaping around here is just beautiful. I mean, the village just keeps up the flowers. If, it, if we have a frost, someone's out there a truck the next week pulling out the bad ones and putting in new ones and so when you just drive along in your car it's just a, a beautiful scenery to look at it's like uh, I will always refer to Disney mm -hmm. that it's just really well kept and the and the trees and the and it's it's just fun to look at and so that's and they keep it up it's not messy or nope. ragged or whatever and I will say my little plug for us northern side people so everybody tells us oh the young people are all moving down south the young people are moving down south i think the north well first of all down south they're putting in more florida friendly landscape yes. so for up, the water yeah and up north they've got some flowers that they do replace quarterly mm -hmm. i believe it's quarterly that they pull them and replace them and um we've got so many mature trees in fact um in sumter county before you can remove a tree that they consider a canopy tree, like an oak tree or yeah, anything that has oaks. leaves, yeah. um, you have to get approval because they don't want people taking down a bunch of trees that provide oxygen and clean the air with a bunch of palm trees because al although they're pretty in their Florida, um, they don't produce any oxygen apparently, no. as from what or I've been shade. told. And, or shade. In the summertime, yeah. you kind of want that shade. Yeah, so I feel like the north side of the villages is a little preferable for, yeah. for that type of stuff. Yeah, it's just pretty here. It's very pretty. And it's new down there. Yep. Yeah. Very mature here. Um, like us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, another one is uh, how they made the different villages. And um, they named them all. And I don't even know how many villages. they. I live in the village of Rio Grande. And you live in... Polar Ridge. Polar Ridge. And they are, they're all their, on their little village. And then 
they have a pool and they all have a rec center around all these villages and you you can get a villa a two two bedroom villa that's small and easy to take care of if you go back north during the summer uh, they have ranches they have uh, premieres i mean i don't know what all the names of the so there's a house for everyone mm-hmm. uh, and a design for everyone and and that's that's a pretty cool so if you want small you want big i mean they're all here they're all alike but on the outside they make them look different so you think that that house is like your floor plan but you go in and i go well it's not my floor plan but it looks like it from the outside so they're pretty clever in their in their building of their homes um another one is exercise opportunities so when you come here you have a plethora of exercise uh, opportunities and we'll probably do some videos on that but you i mean just walking running biking um tennis tennis yeah they have little workouts. So some of the rec centers have facilities in them that you have to pay. It's, it's a small amount of money per month to join. So it would be like your local gym, and you have those. Yes. But in addition to that, they have a bunch of exterior, like on the outsides yes. of Walking some of the rec centers, yeah. they've got exercise equipment. So you can mm-hmm. exercise outside. Yeah. What a better... I know. No better way to do that. I know it. And, and we'll do some videos on that and take mm-hmm. you through some of those. And so, I mean, you... If you want to exercise and you want to stay fit and you want to stay healthy, this is the place. Yeah, for sure. Because there's millions of things you can do. And, and to me, one of the things that I said in my dislike video is about the age of the community and that, you know, it's hard to lose friends. That being said, I will tell you here, even though, uh, you know, I'm 55 right now, but I have friends that are 70, 75. I don't, I don't think of them as an age. They are just as active as I am. So to me, they're just like my peers, even though they may be a little bit older than me. But the thing is, is that they're just peers because they're still so active. And that is a great thing. And there's a bunch of people that inspire me when I see oh, yeah. some of the tennis old, players and stuff yeah. are out there at 85 years old playing tennis still. I'm like, you go. I mean, yep. it's it's very inspirational. Exactly. You, you weren't referring to me as a 70, were you? You are not 70. Thank you. I just wanted you to clarify just that. Just clarify that. Jan's um, 45. Yeah, that's it. Um, and another thing is the entertainment. So uh, the three squares have a live band every night. Every night. Unless I for think... For four hours. Yes, from five to nine. And only canceled if it's cold weather. If yes. it gets down to a certain degree. I think it's I like... Think. Yeah, because we were out there one night, and I think it was like 45, they'll cancel the entertainment. Yeah. And but um, even in rain, they go... Yeah, people... As long as lightning. there's someone watching... Yeah, lightning. Yeah. And one guy with an umbrella, the band, will play. They will. So, yep. um, and there are some good bands and some good entertainment here. And with COVID, a lot of the restaurants, because the squares were closed for a long mm-hmm. time, would bring in a singer. And then if you want an afternoon entertainment, you can mm-hmm. go to one of the restaurants in the villages, and they might have a singer from 3 to 5 or whatever, and you can have a cocktail and Listen to some good singing. And some of the country clubs are doing it too now. I know yes. over at Glenview, mm-hmm. um, I, I'll be playing tennis in the later afternoon, and you can hear them start up. I think they usually play at like 5 o'clock, but they've got a, a musician outside yeah. on their patio. Serenading us while we're uh, golfing. It's wonderful. Yeah. Better than the karaoke used to be. Oh, gosh. We won't even talk about Hacienda. We <laughs> forgot to talk about Hacienda. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> my next one is the wildlife in the villages. And I'm talking about animals. I'm not talking about the wildlife. And, <laughs> and look at my dislikes, and I will explain the wildlife in the villages. But you can go golfing or even walking around any of the ponds and see huge gators, yeah. um, all sorts of birds, sand cranes, BB sand cranes in the spring. Um, I don't know, you name it, for Florida. And, and you, there's bobcats around here. We had some yeah. raccoons. That bears? Lived. Bears, yeah. There's Black been bear bears. sightings. Mm-hmm and um, armadillos uh, armadillas and uh, we had some raccoons living in a tree behind us and i won't tell you that we tried to shoot them no just kidding um (laughs) just kidding there's a million squirrels oh yeah but i will say to me my favorite part of spring is that the birds are in the bushes outside of my window and it's like 6 15 or so they start chirp, chirp, chirping, and I just love it. I just, yeah. it's a great way to wake up, and it makes me, it's a happy way to wake happy up in the sunny. morning. We have quite a few eagles' nests here, too. We and, do. And those are fun to, to watch and we watch do. their eaglets. Is that, yep. I think that's what they're eaglets, called. Yep. 
and they they're doing that right now. They are, yeah. And uh, I think they just rescued one that uh, fell out. They did, yeah, they did. So anyway, the uh, wildlife around here is amazing. And my last one is not really my last one because these are not in order. Is golfing. Um, that's how we met. Yes. Uh, we were paired up with uh, Debbie and her husband Leo, and um, we've been friends ever since. Yep. And uh, so you can meet people while golfing, and that is good exercise also. A lot of the courses are really too far apart. The holes are too far apart yeah. to walk, but there's about three of them that you could do a pull cart. Yeah. So I tried that the other day just to make sure I could, and I could. <laughs> so anyway, the golfing is amazing. We take care of our golf courses, and we ask others to respect and take care of the golf courses. And, um, and that's, uh, those are my likes. There's a lot to like. There is a lot to like. So, well, if you have the chance, come down and visit us in the villages. And in the meantime, cheers. Cheers.